This is trigonometry video lecture for section 3.4, arc length and areas of a sector. Now we've known that if a central angle theta, that's measured in radians, and a circle of radius r cuts off an arc of length s, then the relationship between s, r, and theta can be written as follows. So we have that theta equals s divided by r. We looked at that when we first studied radians. Now, if you just play around with that equation and rearrange it, then we get a formula to find arc length s. So arc length is equal to r times theta, but theta has to be measured in radians. So how did we get that? We took theta equals s divided by r, and then we just multiply both sides by r. It cancels out, and then you get s equals r times theta. But the big deal is this is in radians only. Otherwise, the formula makes no sense. If you try to plug in an angle with degrees, you won't get the correct value. Okay, so let's practice. So give the length of the arc cut off by a central angle of 1.5 radians in a circle of radius 3.4 inches. Okay, so the angle is equal to 1.5 radians and it's not in degree, so we're good to go. And then the circle has radius 3.4 inches. So you're just gonna need to memorize S is equal to R times theta, which in this case is 3.4 times 1.5. Okay, you can go ahead and use your calculator, or maybe you just did one and a half times 3.4 in your head. It's not too bad. And we'll just round to one decimal place like the problem is, since everything has one decimal place. And this is 5.1 inches, okay? So the units for arc length are gonna match the units on the radius. Those units match. So since they told me the radius was measured in inches, then the arc length S is also in inches. Okay, not too bad. This formula has so many more applications. You're gonna build on it, especially when you get to calculus. I keep talking about calculus, but that's where this is all headed. So make sure you remember it. Example two, a satellite 200 miles above the earth is orbiting the earth once every six hours. How far does the satellite travel in one hour? And it says, assume the radius of the earth is 4,000 miles. So here's the Earth. What a fabulous representation. And the radius we're going to assume is 4,000 miles. And then a satellite is another 200 miles above. So here's 200 extra miles. And the satellite's orbiting around the Earth. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the once every six hours part. First, I want to find out how far does it travel when it goes all the way around and completes one revolution? Okay, so one revolution, what is the arc length? Well, S is equal to R times theta. What's R? You're gonna take the radius of the Earth, the 4,000 miles, and then add the 200 miles that the satellite is above the Earth. That's R. And theta is two pi, because we're completing one revolution. You could think of it like we're just finding the circumference too, of that travel path. So 4,200 times two pi, that's 8,400 pi miles. And then now is where I'm gonna pay attention to the fact that this takes six hours, okay? So 8,400 pi miles in six hours. Now they're asking how far does the satellite travel in just one hour? Well, assuming that its speed is constant, then I can just divide this distance by six. So in one hour, it's gonna complete one sixth of its journey. So 8,400 pi divided by six miles. Leave the pi in your answer, okay? So just divide 8,400 by six and you get 1,400 pi miles. 
okay? Sometimes they might ask you to round to the nearest whole number, and then what you would do in that case is take the 1400, multiply by pi, use the pi key in the calculator, and it's about 4,398.23 miles. They didn't ask me to round though. Do you see that? No rounding, no decimal direction was given. So I would say stick with the exact answer where you didn't round at all, 1,400 pi miles. Don't worry, I'll be specific on the test. I won't leave you worrying. Now, that's for arc length. Next idea we're gonna look at is area. So if theta in radians is a central angle in a circle with radius r, then the area of the sector formed by the angle theta is given by the following formula. So area equals one half r squared theta. So a sector basically looks like a slice of a pie. That's called a sector. And this formula gives us the area of that shaded region, one half r squared theta. Again, important formula that's gonna come up more later in your math career. So let's practice using it. And maybe you can compute how much pie you're gonna eat on pie day. It's coming up next month. Example three, find the area of the sector formed by a central angle of 2.4 radians in a circle of radius 4.6 meters. Okay, so 2.4, that's theta. And then 4.6 is the radius. And we're going to use the formula A equals 1 half R squared theta. So plugging everything in, we have 1 half times 4.6 squared. Theta is already in radians. Great. And then now just plug this into your calculator. They didn't tell me how much to round to, but I notice... Everything's rounded to one decimal place, so we will follow suit and round to one decimal place as well. And then punching this in your calculator, you should get about 25.392, and let's round that to 25.4. Now be careful for the units. So the radius is measured in meters. Area is a two-dimensional quantity. So we're going to keep meters, but square them, right? So meters squared. Make sure you put the units on your answers. Otherwise, it's not considered completely correct. All right, good. Example four. If the sector formed by a central angle of 30 degrees has an area of pi over 3 square centimeters, find the radius of the circle. So this pi over 3 is the area already given to us. Pi over 3 square centimeters means centimeters squared. They want us to find the radius. And here they're telling me the central angle is 30 degrees. But I know this formula only makes sense if theta is being measured in radians. And 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6 radians. Remember the little 3-6 swap trick I talked about in the last lesson? So here we go, area is equal to 1 half r squared theta. I'm going to replace a with pi over 3. So we have pi over 3 equals 1 half times r squared times theta. Well, what's theta? Pi over 6. So here's pi over 6. Okay, that means I have pi over 3 equals, I'm going to multiply these two fractions by each other. 1 half times pi over 6 is pi over 12. R squared. To get R by itself, I need to multiply both sides by 12 over pi, right? Multiply by the reciprocal, so it cancels out. Multiply by 12 over pi. And then these all cancel, so the coefficient on r squared is just 1. And then over on the other side, look what happens. So the pi cancels, and then you just have 12 over 3. So that's going to be 4. r squared is 4. It doesn't make sense to have a negative radius. That only comes up much later in your math career. 
So R is equal to positive 2. And then don't forget the units because they told me the areas in centimeters squared. So the radius must be measured in centimeters as well. Check that out. And we are done. Okay, very good. One last example. An automobile windshield wiper 10 inches long rotates through an angle of 60 degrees. If the rubber part of the blade covers only the last nine inches of the wiper, find the area of the windshield that's cleaned by the windshield wiper. Okay, so here's what's going on. We've got this windshield wiper and it rotates through an angle of 60 degrees. Let me not draw that. So this is this is 60 degree angle right here. Right away, I'm gonna write that's pi over three radians because we're working in radians. Now it says the rubber part of the blade only covers the last nine inches of the wiper. So this whole thing is 10 inches, the windshield wiper, but the rubber part of the blade only covers the last nine inches. So starting from here to the end is the part where the rubber blade is, and that's what's sweeping back and forth and cleaning. This gets cleaned. This bottom part down here does not get cleaned. This part up here is cleaned. And it's asking for the area of the windshield cleaned by the windshield wiper. So what we're going to have to do is compute the total area and then subtract the area that's not cleaned. Okay, so the total area, the total area being the entire windshield, okay, cleaned and not cleaned all together. The total area, I'm going to use one half r squared theta, so one half, the full radius would be 10 squared times theta, which is pi over 3. 10 squared, that's 100, divided by 2 is 50. So this is 50 pi over 3 inches squared. That's the total area. Now they want the area that's clean. So I'm going to subtract how much is not cleaned. Let's figure out how much is not cleaned. When I say not cleaned, I mean this little portion down here, right? that the windshield wipers rubber portion is not hitting, not cleaning. So how much is not cleaned? It's going to be one half. What's the radius there? Well, it's only one inch, right? Because all the way is 10 inches. The rubber part is the last nine inches. So one squared times pi over three. So one half times pi over three, that's going to be pi over six inches squared. So that means the area cleaned is the difference between the two. It's going to be the total area, so 50 pi over 3 minus pi over 6. If I get a common denominator, that's 100 pi over 6 minus 1 pi over 6. So that's 99 pi over 6. We can reduce that, can't we? Oh, yes, that's 33 pi divided by 2 inches squared. Okay, and that's the exact answer. If you wanted to go ahead and plug it in your calculator, you could, but they didn't ask for a decimal approximation. But let's just do it. 33 pi divided by 2, you should get about 51.836, so we'll say 51.8 inches squared, if you just want to have a feel for it. Okay, so two very important formulas. What you need to take away from this lesson, arc length, S equals R theta, area of a sector, one half R squared theta. And for both of these, to make any sense, theta needs to be measured in radians. Okay, that's the big summary of what just happened in this video. After this, we're going to move on to chapter four and deal with graphing. So this kind of ends this unit here. Make sure you memorize that unit circle and keep up the good work.